Number five, can an object in free rotation rotate or revolve about any point you might choose? Well, again, what is free rotation? Free rotation is when you do not constrain it, when you do not constrain an object to rotate. So, for example, remember you take like this spanner and you, you throw it up and you apply some kind of torque, okay? And so, as you can see, the spanner is rotating. It's rotating about some axis as it goes up. But remember that what we learned is if it's not constrained, like for example a door, we keep coming back to a door. A door has a door hinge, so that's constrained, right? It's constrained to rotate, um, to revolve around that point, okay? But if there's no constraint, then what's going to happen is the object will always rotate about its center of mass. Okay? And then the other, so that's the first thing. When, when, the, when there's free rotation, or let's put it this way, when there's free rotation, the first point is that it always rotates about the center of mass, as you can see here. It's rotating around this white dot, which is the center of mass. And secondly, the translational, translational and rotational motion, translation means moving in a straight line, rotational obviously means rotating, these are un coupled. What does that mean? It means the one is independent of the other one. They're independent. The one doesn't depend on the other one. Okay. So those are the two things of free rotation. So it cannot rotate about just anyone that has to rotate. Not that it has to. It does rotate about the center of mass. Okay.